We're back today in the hot sauce. We're talking body language 101. Yes, you may be saying the right words, but you may not realize that the, your body language is all wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. I just assumed Joe was disinterested. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's because your body language might not always match up with what's coming out of your mouth. Exactly. Right? This so happens. To guarantee the best possible impressions and getting your message across, we've got a few tips on how to make your body language match what you're saying. That's right. We're going to put the first one up on the screen. This is a big one that we all face at some point, meeting the in-laws for the first time. It can be a nerve-wracking experience where many people naturally speed up when feeling stressed. To avoid that and stay calm, you apparently should try curling your toes in your shoes. And you know what? Somebody gave me this advice, and I still do it. Nobody can see you doing it. That's the cool part, and that's why I do it sometimes. And it helps your mind get control over the initial fight or flight mentality by distracting you. If you honestly look at a lot of my socks, I've got holes <laughs> where the big toes should be because I curl those toes. I curl them all the time. My, to my shoes won't let me do that right now, so yeah, I'm kind of getting more anxiety about the fact that I can't <laughs> do it. But I would recommend this one. It works. It does yeah. work. Yeah. It's kind of like the equivalent of... Uh, an invisible stress ball because you wouldn't mm -hmm. be able to like squeeze it. Hi, it's right. nice to meet you. Let that, me squeeze out my stress that's ball. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Hang on a second. I just gotta, yeah, you don't wanna be caught doing that. No, Especially when you're not. meeting the in laws or, no. you know, somebody important like that. So, good advice. I go, I go, but. Yeah, you know. seems to work. So, the next tip we have is for when you're confronting your spouse, your significant other, to get your message, message across, you need to be <laughs> as clear and concise as possible. If you emphasize each point you're saying with a downward chopping motion with your. Yeah, it's hand, really working for that guy right now. And then you pause. <laughs> between points, you can make sure that what you're saying is registering with people. Yeah, I love the picture, though. I She's feel like this, though, you can't right you can't overdo it. Because if you're chopping all the time, I feel as if this would be distracting. Right. You don't want to... You'll be like the boy who cried wolf if you keep doing it all the time. I think you should use it for emphasis when you need to make your point. Joe, right. we need to move on but, to the next okay, bit of body language. Right, sorry, <laughs> go, let's go. Next one. Finally, here's the last tip for someone at a cocktail party. Have you ever noticed that when you see someone you know, you raise your eyebrows, right? Well, the Yahoo Shine article we're going off of here today suggests that you should do the same thing with someone you want to know. So somebody you've never met, do that. Except that's a little creepy up yeah. on the screen right there. But, I, you know, it's funny because when we meet people that that like the show or come up to us, you've never met them, but you're always like, hey, yeah. you know, like, so that, I think that does put people at ease. And it, I you, think it does. I think we've all been in the situation, too, where somebody looks at you like they know you, and you're like, mm -hmm. oh, I should talk to that person, I know them somehow. Right. Like, it works, yeah. and we've also yeah. accidentally done it to somebody before, where you turn around, you think and you recognize, you're like, and you're like, yeah. oh, no, they definitely right. saw that, I have right. to look down so, in a way. Yeah. So this one works, and so use it when you see people you want to get to know. That's right, but.